section two, we're going to now learn how to write your adverts effectively. So without this bit, we're not going to get very far because if you don't write your adverts effectively, people aren't going to click on your website because people just won't be interested in what you're selling. So this is the most powerful bit. Okay. Now before we get any further, we're going to need to make sure that we're familiar with Google's interface because it does tend to be quite confusing. It doesn't work the same as Microsoft software. There's lots of blue links all over the page and that's how you navigate. So you actually navigate using the hyperlinks that are at the top and the bottom of the page. And we need to recognize the names of the different objects that will appear in our AdWords campaign. So here's some different types of objects that we will come across. We're going to have campaign, ad group, and advert. And that's just some of the different objects that we're going to meet in a minute. And I'm just going to show you where to actually find them on the main screen. OK, right. So you should hopefully be able to see a screen that is fairly similar to this one. So just let me explain to you how to navigate around it. Um, now, I'm actually just in the account level at the moment. So if I just explain to you how to actually navigate within here, at the account level, you will be able to see the names of your campaigns. So I've got two campaigns set up here, one which is called local and one which is called national. Um, if I then click on the name of one of the campaigns, what will happen is it then takes me into the ad group level. And once we're in the ad group level, you should hopefully be able to see the different types of products and services that are at the ad group level. So these will be things such as, well, in this case, it might be bouncy castles, inflatable slides, because that's the market that I'm currently looking at. What I want you to be aware of is the fact that you can actually see the ad groups within the campaign. So we've got the account is the overall top level. Underneath that, we've got the campaign level. And then underneath that, we've got ad groups. And then underneath that, again, we've then got keywords. Now, that is in Appendix 1, I believe. So we have got a little diagram that does show you. No, sorry, it's Appendix 3. So you've actually got, on page 42, you've actually got a little diagram that does actually explain that hierarchy to you. OK, so we are at the ad group level here. And it shows you that for the ad group, Banksy Castles, it shows you what the default bid is, how many clicks you've had how many impressions you've had, that's how many times it's shown today, and what the click-through rate is. So it's exactly the same information as we saw at the campaign level, but it's then further broken down into the ad group level. Now, the ad groups would be, for example, you might want to have one ad group per product or per service. In some of your case, I've worked with a couple of office stationery companies, they've got hundreds of ad groups set up because they have one for A4 paper, one for A5 paper, one for staples, one for staplers, one for hole punches. You can imagine they've got a huge number of ad groups. So I imagine that most of you are probably thinking you're quite lucky, the fact that you haven't got too many to actually set up today. Okay, now once we actually get to then within the ad groups, so you can see that I'm just clicking on the link there, we should then hopefully be able to see the keyword list which will actually be the keywords that I've generated using the keyword tool. OK, and while we're waiting for that to load, can you see there's also some links at the top? Some of you will be familiar for, with navigating a website that way. You can also then jump back to the campaign level by clicking on campaign summary. You can jump back to the ad group level by clicking on the name of the ad group just there, which is local. Okay, so you've also got the links at the top for getting back out again of that screen. <laughs>